This is day two of the keratin treatment. It's been in my hair for approximately 31 hours. See the little curvature in my hair there? The wave. It's because I didn't wear a shower cap, so I put a little hair tie in my hair, which is why you're not supposed to do that when you put the keratin treatment in there. Anyway, I did glue over it again with the flat iron, but for the most part, you can see it's still smooth. And I can't wash it for another 48 hours approximately. A lot of times people ask me, why do I look so young? And I always tell them it's an ancient Chinese secret because I'm Chinese. And then they say, well, you don't look Chinese. Well, that's a really stupid, ignorant thing to say, unless you've seen every single Chinese person in the entire world to adequately assess that I don't look Chinese. Anyway, people say that I look about 20 years younger than I really am. So they asked me, what do I use? I used to use Cetaphil, and maybe some of you remember that Cetaphil was this very big kick back then. My dermatologist told me to use CeraVe, which I find is very nice, except I don't feel like it's actually cleansing. It just moisturizes. But it does the job very well. And there's That was the cleansing. Then here's the moisturizing. This is AM and PM. I do sometimes like to use PM during the day because of the texture of it it feels like it would make a good primer. Now for under my eyes, the only thing that I've found that have been very useful to minimize the dark circles under my eyes is proper diet, exercise, and sleep, which, you know, at our age, it's very difficult to get the happy balance of all of that. I do use this cheap Target eye lifting serum under my eyes because I like the texture of it, I like the feel, it's kind of silky, so I kind of use it as a primer and then, you know, it does whatever it's supposed to do, which don't imagine is that much because it's like the generic version of oil of Olay. And then, you know, because we are at that age where we're starting to notice more aches and pains in our bodies, the doctor once told me that during stressful times of my life I should take more calcium and magnesium because when you're very stressed out, the stress depletes your calcium levels and your magnesium levels. So you recommend that I take this calcium magnesium magnesium supplement, which I found at Target. No, this is not an advertisement for Target, and, and actually, I really don't like shopping at Target because of an incident that happened. Actually, it's more than one incident, but the customer service was really bad, and they were, uh, well, let's not go into that. Anyway, this is a calcium, magnesium, zinc supplement, and you're supposed to take three tablets with your food. And I do take three tablets once a day, sometimes even twice a day. And the other very important thing, other than diet, is drinking a lot of water. I drink a gallon of water every day. Some of you might think that that's excessive, but the problem is I tend to dehydrate quickly. Now, most people don't realize that I hydrate it until it's too late. So you want to kind of head that off by drinking a lot of water. Once you've realized you're dehydrated, symptoms can include confusion, you know, other strange things. 